Now we are going to learn how to estimate the dividend growth rate. So dividend growth rates, very important factor and very sensitive factor to uh, estimating the cost of equity using the dividend growth model. As you'll see in the text and in the notes, the estimate of stock price is very, very sensitive to what the dividend growth rate estimate is. So we have to take great care in estimating that dividend. So uh, we're going to do it for Microsoft. So one way we go to our Yahoo Finance homepage, we look up Microsoft, and we once again go to historical data. And we click on historical data. And we want to do a few things. Because the stock price is so sensitive to changes in growth rate, we want to do a little bit longer time horizon than what, what we normally do to estimate some of the other statistical properties of a stock. And so we actually want to probably look at a five year, uh, five year uh, look at the dividends for the last five years. So we click on five years, click done. And right here where it says historical prices, we can also just download dividends. So now we have the dividends from uh, August 9th, 2014 to August 9th, 2019. And we hit apply. And then we download data. And we have our dividends for Microsoft Corporation for the last five years. Now there are several ways to estimate the growth rate. And the first thing we actually have to make sure, and I don't know why this happens with Yahoo Finance downloading into Excel, is that it's not in, not in uh, a time series. So for some reason the output sometimes is not in a time series, so we want to uh, highlight the entire, the entire, uh, entire data sheet and go to sort and filter. And we want to sort from the, uh, well, either way is OK, oldest to newest, or newest to oldest. And then we have a, now we have our time series from August 19, 2014 dividend, all the way up to uh, our last dividend paid in 2019, which in this case was in, uh, in uh, May. Now these are quarterly dividends. So when we're looking for our, using our dividend growth rate, we actually need a yearly dividend. We can do this, there's many different ways, like I said, to estimate. Uh, one way to do it is to just take our first observation, and this first observation was in August, and so we have a 28 cent dividend, and then we look at every August, we just look at those dividends, and we take the growth rate from each August to August period. So in this case, we have a dividend of 31 cents, was our ending dividend, our beginning dividend was 28 cents, we want to estimate what the growth rate was between those two points of time. So we have ending minus beginning divided by beginning. And we get a growth rate there of, and let's go ahead and change these all the percentages to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, and due to two decimal places. So we have a 10% dividend growth rate. Now from the next August, from August 2015 to August 2016, what was the growth rate? And we can do the exact same formula again. So we have equals parentheses ending dividend minus beginning dividend divided by beginning dividend. And we have a 16%. Now we can keep doing this each August. And so what we're doing is we're est estimating what the yearly growth rate of these dividends from one year at a time to the next year. And we're doing it for as many times as our data in the last five years will allow. And so we have, we have actually two more. We can take 42 cents minus 39 cents divided by the beginning. And we have a seven. And then we have here our last observation is 46 cents. Well, the dividend last year per quarter was 42 cents. We do have another growth rate. So we can take ending minus beginning divided by beginning. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five yearly dividend growth rates. And they range, now there's, like I said, there's many different ways we can uh, estimate the dividends. We can just take an average of all those. So we take an average of the last five years dividend growth rate. 
So our average growth rate was 10.48%. That's definitely a, a, valid, a valid way of estimating a dividend growth rate. So that is our G in our, in our, in our dividend growth rate formula. That is our, our growth rate. 